Right, welcome to a brand new one. In the last one, we got started and created a policy for our EKS cluster using Kubia. Now, this is the policy Kubia for EKS and this is the permission it has. Now, let's go ahead and get started to create a role because without attachment, the policy is useless. So, I'm going to go back to my Kubia console. I'm going to say create a role and name it as Kubia role EKS. All right. So what we're saying is we're going to first ask it to create the role so that it can create and then we can start attach the policy as well, which we have created. All right. Looks like the role has been now created Kubia role EKS and uh, we've got the bunch of arms we have creation date. Now we're going to ask it to attach a policy as well. Could you attach a policy as well to this role now what's going to happen is it's going to ask which policy do you want to attach with this role so i'm going to go ahead and copy this policy so that we can say that please go ahead and attach this policy all right it is asking could you please specify the name of the policy which you want to attach to the role i'm going to say kubia for eks i'm going to hit enter and if you go ahead and go to the roles Kubia. So we've got the role created. However, we haven't got any policy attached. So we're going to go ahead and see whether it is able to attach the policy or not. So while this is trying to create, we're going to go ahead and going to give it a refresh. And this is the policy. This is the role which we have got. Let's go back to our Kubia console and see it is able to. All right, the operation is successful. Um, on, obviously, there's no response. So let's go ahead and this is the role, right? Kubia role EKS. Let's go to the policy and see the policy has been attached to your brand new role which was created using Kubia. I hope this is super informative. Go ahead and try it on your end. Let me know what are the feedbacks you have. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.